Cone snails, they're usually very patterned and very colourful. They are just a uh, shell collector's dream. You can pick them up as empty shells because they, once they die, the animal will decompose or be eaten out, out of the shell. But if you were to pick up the shell and it still had a living animal in it, it could shoot its harpoon at you uh, and pierce your skin and inject its venom into you. The venom of these animals is considered to be one of the most um, deadly in the world. It has been recorded to kill a human in five minutes. There are approximately 30 recorded deaths from cone snail stings and envenomations in humans. But the venom is actually made up of lots of different compounds, lots of different toxins in there, lots of different molecules. The geography snail, which is also considered the most venomous in the world, can release a cloud of insulin into the water. And as a fish swims through that cloud, the insulin will be drawn into the fish and it will go into hypoglycemic shock and it will then become incapacitated, allowing the snail to move up, harpoon, kill and eat. It's the only recorded case in the animal kingdom of a, another animal using insulin as a chemical weapon. And what some researchers have actually found is if you can isolate different compounds in the venom, they can actually target uh, certain pain receptors in humans and have pain relieving effects that can be sometimes up to a thousand times more potent than morphine without the addictive side effects. And if you manage to isolate this from the venom, then you're having this pain killing effect without the deadly effects of the venom.